In the unlikely event of a broken prop drive pin, it will be necessary to hold the prop shaft stationary so that the nut can be removed. In this case, you will need the blade screwdriver inserted into the slot in the end of the armature shaft or prop shaft, then using the appropriately sized open end wrench, we can again come in and while holding the shaft stationary with the screwdriver, unscrew the nut. The slot in the end of the armature shaft or prop shaft has one purpose and one purpose only, and that is to hold the shaft stationary when the pin is sheared. Many customers call and ask, how do I remove that screw in the end of the armature shaft? And the answer is, it's not a screw. It's actually part of the prop shaft itself or armature shaft. I use the term interchangeably. So again, we can hold that stationary. Now with the prop nut loosened, I can unscrew it with my fingertips, then remove the washer, and in the event of a broken drive pin, the prop may not come off easily. It may be necessary to actually tap on the back side of the prop blades to get the prop to come loose. And then, after doing that, examine the prop drive hub area for any damage. And if damaged, the prop is going to need to be replaced. Now replacement props can be ordered right directly from the factory or from Minn Kota at www.minnkotamotors.com or oftentimes replacement props are available right from your local retailer. Simply consult the owner's manual for the appropriate part number of the prop that you need for your specific model. In this case, we do have an example of a broken drive pin. So before we can replace that, we'll need to drive out that broken portion out of the armature shaft. Now it's always a good idea to support the end of the armature shaft when we're driving this pin out, the broken portion of the pin. So we'll simply slip this underneath to support the backside or the underside of the, of the uh, prop shaft itself as it is possible to use the, uh, using a punch and a hammer to bend that armature shaft, which would then result in a lot of vibration and prop wobble, uh, which we certainly don't want. So now we'll simply use our eighth inch punch and a small ball peen hammer to drive out that slug and popped right out and is laying underneath here. And here we can see that broken portion of the prop drive pin. We'll, we'll replace that broken drive pin with a new pin and it simply will slide into place. And again, we want to center that in the prop shaft, align the prop blades with the pin, push the prop back into place. There we go. Reinstall the washer, the prop nut, finger tighten, finish tightening with the half inch open end wrench. Again, snug it up, turn it about a quarter turn. Or again, if we have access to the appropriate torque wrench rated in inch pounds, we can set that for about 30 inch pounds. And then right there we have it. The prop nut is properly torqued to the required specification. And here's a maintenance tip right from the owner's manual. We recommend that you periodically remove the prop to check for foreign debris or fishing line that may have gotten behind the prop. If left there, the fishing line can actually damage the motor prop shaft seals, allowing water to enter into the lower unit. And this could result in a costly repair. This completes the replacement procedure 
for the prop installation and removal. For more product videos or to order replacement parts, please visit www.minkotamotors.com.